Okay guys, so I had to look at three System 1 chips recently and it turns out some of them are fairly good in terms of battery performance and AI capabilities. But because of those three, I think one of them has to be the best one. Like the Apple M series, the Snapdragon X Elite and even the Intel Core Ultra. I do like that Apple transition from their Intel based MacBooks to the Apple Silicon ones because what Apple's doing there is to improve the CPU and GPU cores as well as the neural engine which is basically the AI stuff making it more powerful to handle many apps and tasks even with heavy workloads and stuff too and with the GPUs to improve visuals and even for rendering and video editing and stuff like that it's just impressive there are also two additional processors from the Apple M series which can be very powerful but quite expensive if you're upgrading a MacBook Pro. I do like the Snapdragon X Elite processor as well because it is able to handle AI tasks too as well as performing well with battery life but what I don't get is because I've seen a couple of videos of people testing it out for games and apps it does not be fully optimized I don't know why but I think in future updates it might be better with games and apps and so but hey Intel Core Ultra on the other hand can perform well with games and apps too it's got a better architecture which can handle most games and apps especially for the AI stuff and batch performance but when you push that processor to the limit it's going to put pressure on the CPU it's going to drain slightly bit more battery and it is going to get hot over time but those are based on what I've seen in some videos guys but I'm going to be honest with you guys these three processors are really good but I do believe that they do have their own strengths and weaknesses so yeah 